All right, so I pushed out to, to a point of blockage here. Let the pipe drain out. You can see all the heavy roots and all the debris build up here. Uh, so unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to punch the camera through this and get all the way to the public sewer. Wouldn't really matter. Um, can't see the area well enough anyways to determine if there's anything broken or damaged. But basically, we're sitting out just to the right of the driveway if you're looking at the property from the street and about uh, 10 feet or so short of the sidewalk. And you can see we're already about 82 feet from where we exited the building, or excuse me, where we dropped into this three-inch three inch clean out. So the first order of business is getting this line cleaned and cleared so we can examine the rest of it. But uh, we'll go ahead and pull back from here and you'll see we've got some pretty significant roots as we get into this clay pipe. back through a couple of feet of clay and we're back into the original cast iron piping. Now as soon as we dropped in and got up underneath the uh, basement floor down here we, we entered into this original cast iron piping and it's beyond its useful service life. This, this should have been upgraded uh, or is ready to be at this point. Um, but unfortunately in this case it's going to mean demoing the basement area to get to all this stuff. Next, we came out the left side of the house, ran under the driveway, turned, ran under the driveway, and you can see here we jogged over uh, to the right side of the driveway there. And we're pulling back under. And it's just all original cast iron piping. It's in very poor condition. Now, these cast iron pipes typically were expected to last somewhere in the 70 to 80 year range. So this is pretty typical of a pipe of this age. Well, you can see here, especially there's a big uh, debris field. It's like mud mixed in with it. Now, there's no other option here other than saying, go ahead and replace this cast iron piping. Going back towards the structure now. Somewhere around here is where we're actually exiting the building. So, unfortunately, cleaning the line from this 3-inch clean-out that we've got at the back of the structure is not really, really feasible. It's, number one, it's undersized, being a 3-inch with a 4-inch line here that's running out. Um, and number two, it's a lot of turns before you get to those roots. So, uh, have to come up with a better solution here if we can. You'll see here's all these things right as you drop in. Drop downward, back to the left, back to the right, right away before you get into that cast iron. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording right now. I'm going to track the line a little more, see if we can uh, find a spot reasonable to recommend a clean out for the cleaning, but uh, at this point it doesn't seem all that uh, all that smart to start spending money on clean outs for a line that needs to be replaced, but uh, there is the possibility that there could be something else broken out there between the front of the yard and the street, so uh, at a minimum I would say find a way to get it clean and have it followed up, or uh, get a sewer contractor out here to perform these repairs to uh, jet that line out and uh, perform the examination of the rest of the pipe. Alright, so with that I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video portion of the examination for today. Uh, please do refer to my written report uh, after my uh, investigation here. Once the video is over we may make some changes to the recommendations, so do uh, refer to those for the uh, final findings and recommendations. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much and have a pleasant day.